Hello and welcome back to the Sophisticated Man's channel, ISP, where we're here for the culture and the sophisticated humor. I am so cultured. <laughs> look at look at my profile picture on Steve. Hello everybody, welcome back to City Skylines on the best City Skylines channel around, ISP. The I stands for incompetent, the S stands for sexy, and the P stands for pain. So if you watched my last City Skylines video, we went ahead and accurately rebuilt Europe to what it actually is in real life so today i got heavily requested to go to north america and do the same thing and i definitely think i am the most qualified person to um show you what america's like uh, pro tip i'm uh, definitely not i am the furthest thing from america or north america i'm definitely nowhere near america do you want to set random disasters on the setting is global effect tool says you can set disasters on and off from the option uh, yeah sure what's the worst that can happen with random disasters on welcome to north america i see the uh, map creator has gone all out on creating an accurate north america which is why the caribbean has never looked so accurate right so we want to make a beautiful north america that represents everything they're about things first with the accurate north america is obviously the super highway that runs all the way from the tippy tops of the north poles through canada maybe even greenland all the way down through south america uh, i'm not too sure who's getting on the highway over here but uh, wherever they're coming from they best be bringing good business because that's what america is all about yeah, first things first is a small little town off of the highway that will give us a nice little starting post for our unique america i i don't want to use the word accurate anymore it's not going to be accurate oh uh, I kind of assumed Americans don't drink water. Uh, that's a stereotype coming out, one that I do not approve of. Of course, you Americans drink water. I just, I don't know why you make so many delicious sugary beverages. Do you guys know what water is? It apparently comes from the ocean. <laughs> don't, don't drink <laughs> ocean water. If I was an American, where would I dump my sewage? There we go. We're dumping it out. I think that's, is that Nevada technically? It's hard to tell. The map's a little skewed. It's either California or Nevada. I'm pretty sure that's more in the Nevada territory, which still makes sense, but with part of the joke since um, Las Vegas. Well, that could have been bad. I, I didn't realize I put down a water pumping station, not a um, sewage placement system uh that's what we're gonna call it definitely not ruining the environment down here either anything it's more of like a artificial waterfall which it's it's artificial all right don't swim in that yeah, it's all right i yeah it'll do wonders for the environment over here i look a tree just sprung up right there a sewage tree that's right <laughs> we got pizza hut will i get sued for putting pizza hut in city skylines i mean we also have a pennies no relation to any other fast food restaurant quick dining experience none at all oh there we go the man himself general sanders <laughs> there we go uh, major major sandals himself what a guy great guy i think he used to be a corporal little corporal sanders and he got promoted up to colonel general major now he's commander in chef i hope you get the joke <laughs> also it's the most american thing i've ever seen because right next to the kfc is a mcdonald's <laughs> Is this what America's like? Am I doing you well so far, Americans of the world? Is do is there a McDonald's next to a KFC where you live? I, I get the feeling there is, right? Oh, God. Okay, so we, we've already got quite the traffic problem here, which is a little questionable, because I'm pretty sure in America you can just turn left on a turn, right? Don't have to wait for it. There are no traffic lights. It's a highway. What the hell am I on about? Why are you taking so slow to get round here? Oh, well, we doused appear to have a crime problem already, but from what can I can kind of tell from America is that it's either a lot of crime or a lot of crime. Hey, America was the land of the, the Wild West, you know, a lot of um, crazy stuff went on down there. And, you know, then there was the mafia and crooked police. <laughs> Uh, but we also have the problem that uh, America has a lot of police, but also a lot of crime at the same time. But in City Skylines, uh, having a lot of police means pretty much no crime. So we need to find the sweet spot here. I think I found the sweet spot here where we just have an entire row of police stations, prisons, and then a police helicopter station too, just in case all those prisons and police stations weren't enough. And um, there you go. The... <laughs> Welcome to America. Uh, was, there, was there really that much crime in my small little city that we're sending out the army? Um, 
topical. I'm pretty sure 90% of my traffic now is um, the law enforcement. And why are there four big bites right here? In the small grid. D is the demand for Big Bite that much? Yes, it's not even the worst, because there's also just two McDonald's right next door to that. <laughs> am I am I doing you proud, America? <laughs> I really hope I'm doing you proud. Well, it does appear that the police stations are all out of order. Do you not, like, put a bucket out or something could save us some money? Uh, because we could probably use this rain. Although, in the pollution that's probably around here, I'm not too sure you want to drink that. Every time I come back around here, there appears to be a new problem. Can't you guys just, like, get jobs or something? Stop being so bored. Uh, this person was so damn bored. They died. It is always pretty interesting seeing one crime be committed. And, uh, well, let's just say as. <laughs> A lot of a lot of policemen with not a lot of job. Hey, hold on, we're America, right? How do I only fund the police? Is that is that a button I can press somewhere here? Ah, there we go. Found it. Uh, let's go ahead. <laughs> Let's raise the wages of you guys just a little bit there. Now, America, obviously, is not just over here in the East Coast, uh, a small town with, like, 12 McDonald's. That does sound very American, though. Uh, there, there's more towns around, more cities, more opportunity for offending. Uh, I, I do think I'm pretty accurate with um, this side of the country, with just the sewage outlet pipe. We should probably get something else down here. Now, as far as I'm aware from the West Coast, there's not a lot that goes on here bar traffic. Uh, well, of course, you also have the whole entertainment industry and all the tech companies and stuff like that over here, but, um... We're gonna focus on the traffic part today. So to make this as bad as possible, we're gonna go ahead and just use one-way roads and create a winding path that you have to go through to get around here. Now, of course, uh, I have gone ahead and kind of linked them up here. So we've kind of got like a quasi roundabout. Of course, we don't use the term roundabout in America. Uh, that's some sort of communist magic that we won't get behind. We only drive in straight lines here, mister. Now, maybe those socialist Scandinavians like to drive around in circles, but here in America, we'll drive straight. Point to me in the Bible where Mr. Jesus H. Christ went around in a circle for five minutes to get off the bypass. Uh, anyway, uh, as we're going with the America thing, we'll also just put down a oil and coal power plant to power this entire place. Uh, <laughs> none of that goddamn green hippie shit. All right, so obviously to make this as terrible as possible for people to drive around, we're just going to make it a whole bunch of high density. Then we're going to throw some businesses in here. There we go. This definitely won't be a blight to the environment in any one sane trying to drive through this place. Uh, also, if you do and uh, are brave enough to drive through here, well, you best go ahead and pay yourself through the toll booth that's, um, well, was <laughs> filling up with sewage. Oh, low health. Your citizens are feeling sick. Bill more health care says to help. How about you pay me to do that, buddy? Uh, this ain't no communist Switzerland, all right? There ain't none of that business around here. You want healthcare? You gotta pay for it. Oh, we could also make this worse by also whacking down an airport. In fact, we should probably just get as much as we can down infrastructure-wise here as possible. I don't even know what goes on, like, here. No? I'm pretty sure it's, a, like, the, the American version of packing your, uh, your underwear with a sock. Makes you look big. Not a lot of substance underneath, though. You know, sometimes you just gotta embrace the American way, little Timmy. And that is apparently by accidentally... ...building up here. Um, that's fine, though. I'm sure... ...the state budget is... ...okay with this. Is this lake really here? Although, I guess if we look at the size of it on the map, that would be an inland sea. If it is real, I, I am assuming it's probably called, like, Lake Washington. <laughs> we, also, we also got the, uh, the Mississippi here, or as it's better known, Lake Washington. Yeah, we got the, uh, we got the Great Lakes right here, also known as Great Lake Washington. We got the, uh, we got the state capital, Washington, D.C. And then we also have just Washington over here. We got a lot of Washingtons is what I'm getting at. And my favorite, <laughs> Washington Fools. <laughs> oh, we also got the airport down. But we're gonna have to, uh, perfect. Oh, this building's on fire. Not a lot we'd be able to do for that regardless, though, because I've accidentally done a one-way road here, so you can never actually get to this part of the sh of the road. So, <laughs> oh, that's, uh, that's kind of convenient, really. Uh, 
I wonder if they, they knew that was going to happen when they named it. We'll also go ahead and just replace that building with a firehouse. Um, I'm not too sure you'll be able to do your job, though, considering the road situation. Yeah, I, I guess to kind of represent this area a bit better, we'll just um, we'll just turn it into a big hole, really. Because I, I don't know what else to do here. We're going to have to find something to do here. Oh, I don't think I thought that through. I had the feeling that the Washington Basin might create the, um, the Great Great Lake Washington over here. Yeah. I'm kind of disappointed that the traffic problem hasn't actually got too bad in the city yet. I mean, trying to get into the city, though, is um, a bit difficult. There's ambulances. <laughs> How did you get here? I don't remember paying for you. You best be paying for these ambulances. I'm telling you that. Oh, I, I definitely spoke a bit too soon here. Yeah, getting into the city. I get, oh, the ambulances are coming from out of town. That's where they're coming from. Elon Musk. Yeah, get, getting into the town, or the city, I should probably say, not too, not too possible, really. It's, uh, it's a little bit difficult. Uh, it's, um, this may be a bit of a problem, but I'm just gonna turn a blind eye and hope that, um, we can blame it on communism. You know, actually, I think what we could do, technically, is, um, hold on, let me, let me just run this past you guys. Th there you go. I think that'll do it quite nicely. We've just created a sort of canal system, uh, a drainage system, so we no longer have to deal with the problem of the water. And um, it may also kind of cut Mexico in half, but that's America, baby. It's not the first time. <laughs> now, we could alleviate some of the problems relating to our traffic issues by simply creating some public transport, but getting anywhere conveniently, cheaply, and uh, with no real impact to the environment doesn't sound very American to me, so we're just going to ignore that. How do I mandate it that anyone can, um, they can't drive these little compact cars? You can only drive like that. A, a real American beast. Thought about some a real American muscle right there. But uh, go on. Oh. <laughs> Watch out, guys. It's Red Among Us. <laughs> Oh, we got we got a natural disaster going on. We got a 9.2 thunderstorm. That, that might be pretty bad for us. Oh no, it's all right. They're just they're beating up the Great Lake Washington. I don't know what he ever did to you, other than form America. Oh, there you go. It's George Washington. <laughs> That's him right there. <laughs> George, George Washington. <laughs> Uh, we got a bit of a blackout over here, so I'm just going to fix the problem by dumping a nuclear power plant on everyone's front door. Just how Jesus would have wanted. We got a tornado. This really is America, isn't it? You'd, you'd think that some sort of deity hates us. Oh, yeah, guys, that's it. Uh, you, you, you all got to turn around. There is a slight crack in the road, you know. This is America. You should be used to this. Oh. If this keeps going the way it's going, we could end up with a new Hollywood blockbuster about a natural disaster film. You should probably turn the other way. Might, uh, might take care of the traffic problems a little bit, though. Uh, we, we definitely could use a bit of help with that, that's for sure. Just as it was written in the Constitution, which I think is, um, like the American handbook on how to be American. Something like that. Maybe a NASCAR race pamphlet or something. I don't, I don't quite understand what you're all going on about with that constitution thing. But as it says in the constitution, all buildings must be the red, white, and blue. America. Also France. Netherlands. Yugoslavia. Great Britain. There's a lot of red, white, and blue in the world. Sometimes I just stare uh, <laughs> George Washington. Think damn. America. Sometimes I'm feeling fruity. I even give him shocked eyebrows. Look at that. He's like, oh, yo, Lord. Look at that. Look how shocked he is. It's like, oh, Ben Franklin did what in fair France? Uh, got, a, got a bit of a problem with Washington Falls. It is kind of slowly flooding the nuclear power plants, but um, just going to ignore it. Oh, man. Uh, people are not looking too fresh over it. A lot of people are dying. What's the problem? Why are you all so close to death? Oh. Wait a second, I just realized the water pump is probably pumping up the great American blood of George Washington here. Because that does not look like healthy water to me, but that is very American. Now, in America, there are a lot of natural and man-made monuments, such as um, Washington Falls. And you also have some uh, non-man-made monuments, <coughs> uh, like the Statue of Liberty on Washington Island in Washington Lake in Washington. United States of Washington. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say, sometimes you just gotta look up at the 
monument of George Washington in Washington Lake on Washington Island to see the Washington statue of the Statue of Liberty. I think, damn, it's good to be an American. Uh, of course, I don't think anyone can actually visit Washington. Um, Washington Lake, Washington Monument on the Washington Land Island thing because the tunnel to get here is flooded. I built myself a new tunnel because uh, we're in the old one, not so good. And this one... Uh... <laughs> Go straight into hell! Man, you guys are still all dying, I see. You tried not dying, maybe? Look at that, I'm turning this into like a uh, like a resort island, so I've got all the great American favorites. You obviously got big lady with a torch and a prison. America. Uh, we'll probably also talk about Canada at some point, but uh, I'm gonna do the old fashioned American tradition, just forgetting they exist. Oh. I was gonna say there's garbage everywhere. Did I not put down a garbage thing? I I did not put down a garbage thing, did I? Well, it might be bad for the environment, but uh, everything's kind of bad for the environment over here. But uh, you know what? Ain't nothing more American than setting things on fire. That was also the foreign policy for the Middle East. <laughs> Bring back Bush 2024. Uh, I probably should have added something over here in Texas too, but half of it did get taken out by the lake of Washington, the Inland Sea of Washington, the island of Washington with the statue of Washington. Oh, it's another day in America of another natural disaster trying to wipe us off the damn planet. Yeah, not really a lot to uh, some of Texas, but I think I got it pretty right. They're uh, famous for their snow, with their snowmen, and their patriotism for Germany. I think I got that right. <laughs> I like in the background of, you know, Texas here and the snowmen pledging allegiance to the German flag. It's just a tornado wreaking havoc in the background. Uh, suppose I should also do something down in the south, but uh, I'm also afraid of making fun of them. Might get shot. Damn Martin stalled. I, I got the flag of Cuba, the Soviet Union, Cuba again, but I have no American flag. Oh, wait, no. There it is. Yeah, I think I've represented the South pretty proudly here. Look, you got a hamburger, you got a, you got Uncle Sam. I don't think that's Uncle Sam. It's more like Bozo Sam the Clown. But uh, you got two people shooting each other, a couple of fireworks, uh, got a shack over there, and some pop soda. I think I think it says America like some pop soda. Um, yeah, don't look too closely about the models of these guys. Uh, I didn't have a lot of choice. Funnily enough, I think I've seen those little red men somewhere before on this little island off the coast. Uh, not too sure what it means, though. <sighs> Smell that? Land of the free! Uh, and a little bit of pollution. Yeah, I gotta say, about all the things I've done, I think the traffic problem has been pretty accurate. Don't know if anyone from LA is watching, but I think you can say I've done pretty good here. Probably read my tweets at some point. I do have 100 free notifications. But um, I guarantee a lot of this is people just complaining. A lot of complaining. Hey, I, I guess that is your your, fir your third, 12th, 18th Amendment, right? 12th, 32 Amendment. How many? What the hell is the one where you can speak your mind? Well, I'm, I'm just saying James Jackson just because you can go ahead and complain. Or Katie Cooper. I see you in there. Doesn't mean I'm not going to look at you through your window. Why you complain? Why you tweet? Don't watch out. I'm just going to replace your apartment block with a McDonald's, so... <laughs> America. Oh, I just realized at some point one of those natural disasters blew up the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> it's gonna be a great film, though. I'll replace it with uh, the Elon Musk space stick. Uh... I think that might have been a sign from God. <laughs> George Washington's looking extra shocked at that one. Oh, I think with that great revelation, uh, we, we're probably going to wrap up here. I think I've done America justice today. And we can all put our hands on our hearts and say, Oh, say, can't you see? Uh, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States. And McDonald's burger dollar menu, something like that, right? I think I did pretty well. Um, you know, there's a lot of problems in America, but it is a land of the free, land of the great. And all we can really take from this is that at least we're not Canada. <laughs> or the great Mexican canal. But if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, hit subscribe button, and come back for more. No? 
You don't want to come back for more? That's understandable. But George Washington is disappointed in you. (laughs) 